On the opposite end of the fair from the farm was its counterpart, the hill. While the farm celebrated man's cultivation of nature, the hill celebrated man's discovery of nature with the great outdoors. Ain't nothing like the great outdoors to ease your soul. But first, towards the foot of the hill was the railroads exhibit, which isn't exactly nature, but it's old-timey enough that it still feels like it fits in the area. I was one of them train-loving kids. I read Murder on the Orient Express this week. I was one of those kids who watched enough Shining Time Station to be very confused in Season 2 when Ringo was replaced by George Carlin. There's like an 80% chance we're going to run into Bob Gurr around here. <laughs> or Tony Baxter. Yeah. I'm going to sit down for a second. You guys know what I'm it is a nice... Honestly, it's a nice shaded, quiet area. Yeah. Let's, let's all take a sit. Okay, maybe not that quiet, but... The trains here are really making me realize just how small theme park trains are compared to... Yeah. <laughs> like, they really scaled them down. But lest we get too old-timey, inside was an exhibit on railroads and pop culture, both real and model. Six Flags doesn't have him anymore, but the fair does. Mm -hmm. I forgot about Toodle. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Parton. Toodle is wow. The little golden book. No golden books, man. That's a... But the bulk of the hill was the Great Outdoors Trail, where we met some adorable reptiles. Oh, hello. This is Chileo. He's a rosy boa. Can you go like that? I see heroes all the time. John I love you. Yep. Me too. <laughs> He comes up to I have a ball python. Oh, nice. There you go. Pretty. Mm -hmm. So this is a rosy boa. Oh. Yeah. Not a king snake. No, our king snake no, is all up there. I'm like, I can't this is not a real snake. <laughs> no, the real one is uh, hiding, hiding in there. Yeah. He's not Beethoven, he's hiding. Have you heard the incredibly labored rhyme, Red touches yellow kills a fellow, red touches black friend of Jack? I actually have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are so cool. That rhyme would save your life, yeah. yeah. Chuck Walla, didn't he used to host Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. No, when I was um, a kid, a local herpetologist, would come to school like every year. Mm. Like he was the street smarts of our school. <laughs> but it was how to handle if you see a venomous snake in the wild. Mm. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Mississippi has a lot of them. Mm. And then the what can you tell us about this guy? This is a uh, gopher snake. Mm -hmm. And he's about, so, yeah, she is about 10 to 11 they, years old. They didn't change. We had also seen some reptiles back at the farm, but I opted to save that footage for now for categorization purposes and to not be redundant with my content warnings. There was also a magic show that we actually were on time for, but we didn't stick around and watch it because we wanted to see more Hill. Magic show. This is gonna be fun. Oh, it's a magic show. Magic. It's a magic. Well, it's, it's, a, it's an ASMR show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a refurb of living with the land. <laughs> This forest has a water feature. Smell me. <laughs> Ooh, lemons. Mm -hmm. Nice composting lemons. It's a florist shop. Okay, see, the thing is, I'm mostly smelling the wooden box, which just smells yeah. like a haunt maze from backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least a hot maze at certain parks that I work at. <laughs> Ours smell like theater class. So this is what California Adventure was trying to do. Because you got like the mountainous woodsy area. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Farm, and you have the midway. This this is Wilderness Creek, like Redwood Challenge Trail. Yeah. Okay. It's cool to see what it was trying to do. Yeah. It almost makes sense because, you know, the second gate of Disney World was a World's Fair, so why shouldn't the second gate of Disneyland be a county fair? <laughs> but also, like, this is more authentic than California Adventure, so yeah. it's like... It also takes advantage of the, like, natural unpredictability of mm -hmm. California terrain. Where you can have these, like, foothill areas in the middle of the urban area. Yeah. Yeah, Disney would never make its guests walk on this much hillage. I mean, there was 
there's this much hiking involved in the Google Park. Yes, they're not Magic Mountain. <laughs> From the producers of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, it's the much simpler game show, Are You a Fourth Grader? Ain't nothing like the great outdoors to ease your soul. Ain't nothing like the great outdoors to keep you from growing old. If your mind's been hazy and you feel crazy and down on all fours, then join us players and suck up some air in the great outdoors. Now one section of the hill was dedicated to the man-made wonders of California, but We'll get to those later. It was fun to explore this little hiking trail and get a taste of a wildlife preserve. It was peaceful for the soul. So it's going to be a pretty sharp contrast when next time we explore the chaos of capitalism at the fair. Bears and chuck up some air in the gray.